Hey guys, Tommy D here. Just a little even chat. Smoking some honey chocolate in my little no-name basket pipe. Watching a little uh, WWE. The Divas are on right now. That's a hell of a submission hold. I wouldn't know whether to tap out or pass out. I think either way I'd enjoy it. But, uh, you know, this uh, honey chocolate ain't too bad. Unfortunately, I've heard uh, that they are going to be discontinuing this. I don't know if they've already stopped making it or if they're going to stop making it. But apparently, yeah, they're going to stop making it. So if you want, you're wanting it, you better get it soon. Uh, if you like it, you better stock up. Oof. Hmm. Sorry about that. Had a little uh, chicken casserole coming back on me. Having a glass of milk here. And, uh, you know, the room looks pretty good. It smells a lot like uh, cocoa powder. Not uh, candy. Not uh, like milk chocolate. If you're expecting milk chocolate, you know you're going to be disappointed. It's like unsweetened cocoa powder. That's what I get for flapping my chocolate instead of smoking. <clears throat> I also, uh rubbed out the Orlick Golden Slice. I was expecting um, it to be like a bunch of flakes in the tin when I bought it. And I got it and it's like one or two big flakes just cut and chopped into long ribbons. So uh, it was hard to get it out of the tin a bit. So I had to put it into a big bowl and just rub it out and break it up. And uh, so I've got that back in a tin. I'm going to press it all in there. <clears throat> I tried that little sample that they sent me. Uh, fourth generation, 1957. Uh, I can't read cursive, so if I mispronounce this. Eric Michaels Blend by uh, uh, Eric Stokeby. And it's a, a light Virginia and a creamy vanilla. You know, that's what I got. It was just a real creamy Virginia, similar to the Lane 1Q. Not the same, but similar. Very similar. They had uh, Batista on there earlier. Dave Batista. He's going to be in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy movie. <clears throat> He left for a while to do uh, mixed martial arts, and then he went to acting. Now he's back in wrestling. I don't know if it's permanent or not. This ain't bad. It's got a good sweetness to it. You know, I'm a, I'm a mainly aromatic smoker, but uh, I'm trying to get into some more English. The Dunhill Nightcap is... It's real strong. Uh, genius me. I didn't look up any reviews for it until after I actually bought the tin. I just heard it was good. So, uh, for me, I've only had some small samplings of English tobaccos, and none of them were that strong. Besides that, the strongest thing I smoked was the 1792 Flake. And, uh, it had a heavy nicotine hit, 
but uh, still not as much as a nightcap. I did have a uh, a bowl earlier of the Sutliff Sunset Breeze, and that just smelled incredible. Uh, burned really nice, and it, uh, it it gave a great room note. Like it's hard to put your finger on it. You know, it, it's like a big jumble of these tasty fruits, almost like a, a mango, lime, maybe even a little pineapple. Very hard to put my finger on it. Damn it. I've also been, uh... Before wrestling came on, I was watching one of my favorite movies with, uh, James Stewart. Harvey. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. It's an old movie. <clears throat> and if you don't know who James Stewart or Jimmy Stewart is, uh, go watch some of his movies. He did some westerns. He did It's a Wonderful Life. I love him as an actor. And uh, I love his movie Harvey. It was funny, my neighbor said, uh, uh, we're a bit alike, him from the movie and me, we're always, uh, nice when we meet, we like to sit around, and my neighbor, most people know me say I act old, um, not old for my age, they say I act old, like an old man, you know, I like to sit back and smoke a pipe, drink a cup of coffee, just watch the birds. I love watching storms. You know, just sitting back watching a storm. I listen to the radio. I like listening to yodeling music. I don't know what the hell they're saying, but I like yodeling. <clears throat> As you can tell, I'm not too good with the just rambling videos. Usually I have something to talk about and then I'll end up rambling around that subject but I didn't really, I don't really know why I just want to try to put more videos out there sometimes I'll go a month two months without putting up a video and uh, I, I hate that I'm hoping uh, I'll get to hang out. Oh, uh, next week on Raw, Betty White's going to be the guest star. So that that's good. I always liked Betty White. I even wa I watched the Golden Girls and Andy Griffith, and they've had Gilligan's Island on here. Now it uh, comes on seven o'clock. I, I love all the old shows. I've seen every episode of Gunsmoke. Uh, one of my favorite westerns is Have Gun Will Travel. Oof. Here comes Daniel Bryan. Respect the beard. But anyway, I'm hoping to get me uh, next month the new church warden. Uh, those of you who don't know, my church warden unfortunately broke. I'll show you. You look right here, this is part of the stem that broke off. I don't know if you can see it too well, but right there off to the 
side of the hole. Yeah, there it is. There was an air pocket in the stem when it was formed, and it just weakened the stem. So, uh, like an air bubble when they made it. So that was a screw up on the manufacturer's part. But I bought it uh, third party through another seller. If I wanted my money back, I'd have to show a receipt, proof of purchase, pay to ship it all the way to them. They'd look at it, contact me. I'd have to pay shipping. They'd send me out a, a new pipe of the same model. And since I got it on sale, you know, it's not worth all the hassle. <clears throat> By the time I paid to get the pipe shipped out and got the new one, I got it cheap, so I'm not going to bother. What I did do, however, I took my torch lighter and I heated up the stem on the end and I managed to bend the bit down and I sanded it down a bit. You know, it's ugly as hell. Not as bad looking when I put a softy over it. I converted it to where it's a little longer than your average stem, but still not a church warden. So, yeah. Little red neckery. And I can still smoke it. You know, it's not pretty. It's not what I want, but it's what I got. <clears throat> so, uh,. I'm hoping next month I can get one. My mother's wanting me to go in with her and buy, help buy her a new living room suit. So uh, I might not get it for a while. If we decide that, I'm going to help buy her a couch and two chairs, uh, new stuff like that, because of rooms to go. Or One of them places is having a sale where you can get your monthly payments to $40 a month. So, uh, you know, you got to put in your down payment and your minimum amount. <clears throat> so, hopefully I can help her with that. And then maybe another time I can get a new pipe. did get me a spare Zippo when I was out there a few days ago. So that's good. I don't know what to do with this. I'm just going to throw it away, I guess. <sighs> have you guys ever found that problem uh, with your pipes? I mean, is this something that happens with church wardens? I mean, you can still see right here. There you go, off from the main hole. Uh, you can still see where the hole, where the air pocket was. And what I did was um, I cut a piece of clothes hanger and stuck it down there. Stuck it all the way into the stem. And then I heated it up with my torch lighter, trying not to catch it on fire. I melted it a little too much here, but. and uh, flattened it out. And I managed to make it okay. You know, it's not great. <clears throat> it's not something I'd be proud to show off <clears throat> but uh, you know that's just me I'm uh, also thinking about getting me a pipe stand you know that's be further down the road I've still got some space in this little cabinet I'm using I used to have my other stuff in there Oof, good lord supper's coming back on me good but I moved that uh, elsewhere because I needed more room so I switched some things around I think it uh, suits everything just fine oh I don't know if I ever showed these good lord I don't stretch worth a damn I got them a while back the walking dead playing cards the new season of Walking Dead is going to start, or the uh, second part of this season is going to start soon. And uh, 
I just thought these were neat. They feature iconic zombies from the series. Let's see if we can find one. There's the uh, Well Walker from season two. Biker Walker or Bicycle Walker. And uh, one thing's real neat. Your Joker's or Walker Merle. See, so yeah, if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, I had these at Walmart, so you might still find them there if you want to get them. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I grabbed a pack of these to go with my collection. And now Randy Orton is going to be facing Daniel Bryan. So I think I'm going to call it bye bye, folks. And I'm going to see if this son of a bitch can get his ass kicked and do us all a favor. Happy smokes.